I'm Seb Nalen, Social Communications Manager for Lonely Planet. An amazing and unique aspect of Japan is how much it has to offer in terms of culture and historical activities. There's so much incredible culture there and tradition. There's a real contrast between the old and the new, the hyper-modern and the super-traditional. We've sent three top travel bloggers all around Japan to find some incredible cultural experiences and historical activities. I think it's going to be a really memorable trip. Good luck, guys. My challenge is to explore a unique cultural experience in Osaka. Osaka is known for being a busy financial hub, but I've heard that if you go to Nakanoshima Island, you get a completely different cultural experience. I started off the day at Graf Studio, which is a studio, a cafe, and a shop all combined into one. And it's the place where the best artists in Osaka get together to showcase their work. So I've seen some phenomenal contemporary design, but now I'm going to step back 600 years to experience some authentic Japanese culture. Traditional Yamamoto no theatre. When he walked on the stage with a huge costume on and the lights and the music, I was expecting big, bold, dramatic moves. But what struck me was the concentration, the precision. Anything could have been happening in the world right now, but my focus was just on him. I don't quite know how to put it into words because it was just mesmerizing. I wasn't expecting such a contrast of the contemporary arts movement and then also Osaka being the thriving part of Japan's ancient roots. So I've reached a really interesting artist studio in Yamaka, a fascinating part of the city that's restored and goes back since well before the Second World War. It's peaceful. It feels like exactly where you want to spend Sunday afternoon in an otherwise huge, frantic city. The materials and the techniques are quite traditional in a rather remarkable way. There are natural mineral pigments, so mm. it's like having jewellery hanging on your wall. Yeah. One of the reasons why I chose Yanaka was because these materials can really only be had in nine places in Japan, and four of those places are right here in this neighborhood. For an artist that's working in this particular medium, this is Mecca. It's not just the history of the painting that's interesting here either. I've just had the most amazing conversation learning about how all these different colors come into being. What happens is you take brightly colored minerals, grind them down into different particles, some big, some small, put them in water. That can then be mixed with a special glue, and that's how you get the paint for your Japanese painting. When you look at how long things have been going on for, over a thousand years of tradition, it really brings a new level of respect that someone can dedicate that much time for something for us to have a look at and think is beautiful. Kanazawa is the time traveler's city. It is the perfect blend of old and new. If you want to go back to the Japan of the Edo period, then come here because the samurai district in Kanazawa is a walk back in time. So I've come to the Nomura Samurai House and there's only a few like this in existence in the whole of Japan. I am sitting here where centuries past, the samurai master would have been drinking matcha tea, looking outside into his garden and focusing on the challenges ahead. The tea ceremony was very much for only the highest ranking samurai. So this was a place no ordinary person would be allowed in. It was a very special place. I've just driven an hour to the sleepy spa town of Yamanaka to experience what a real onsen is like. I'm really curious to know what is an onsen. 
The definition of onsen is、um, hot spring. It's really good for like medical reasons. Onsen is kind of like a natural、um, massage. Whenever I go traveling, I always try to stay in budget-friendly places. But there are some experiences in life that are worth splurging and spending money on, and this. Place is one of those once-in-a-lifetime experiences that you have to sample when you come to Japan. There's an amazing bond that the Japanese have with nature, and sitting here, I feel like the whole experience is designed for you to completely. To get all your stress and strains of your everyday life, and coming to the onsen feels like I'm so far away from everything. It's, it's amazing.